Good afternoon, class. In today's video, what I'd like to do is to go over how, how to checkmate with two rooks versus the king. Now, this king is again, like in the last video, not gonna get involved. We're gonna just use these two rooks to checkmate the king. If this king is over here, you know, or something like this, it's actually quite a simple checkmate because you just, the king cannot move down quick enough um, to avoid this checkmate over here, because that's it. However, I did, that was, that's more of a trivial scenario. What I wanted to do was to go over a scenario where it's kind of like this, where it's doable, it's just a little bit trickier to try and get the, the king to be able, it, to get the king down to this first row for checkmate. It's doable, but it's a lot, it's a little bit hard. Okay, so what we do is, basically we create some space. What we do is we say, all right, the king wants to get close to these rooks because these both of these rooks cannot back each other up. So that's fine. What we'll do is we'll give the king some space and it doesn't matter where the king goes. It could go here, could go here, could go here. It doesn't really matter because even if you go over here, what we're going to do is we're going to move this rook over here. Now, the king is probably thinking, I'm going to get as close as possible. I'm going to try and get as close as possible to each of these rooks as, as I can. So that's fine. My rook is going to move over here, checking the king. The king cannot move over here, over here, over here because of this rook. So the king will say, okay, not a problem. Your rook is abandoned. So it's going to be right over here. And I'm going to threaten this rook. What is this rook going to do? You could get scared at this moment and say, okay, I'm going to protect my rooks. But this slows everything down. You don't have to do that. What you want to do instead is to go over here. Now the king is going to say, okay, I'm going to chase, I'm going to chase this rook. That's fine. You check. Next, the king comes over here for the check. Or, you know, to come, comes down over here. And you keep closing this box. You always are thinking about closing the box. You say, you say check. The king comes over here and says, aha, I've got you. But you would say, no, you move over here. Now the king cannot come over to this row because of this rook's influence so as to threaten this, this rook. So the king has to make a choice, either stay, stay on this row or move down a column. Probably the king is going to stay along over here, probably threat, trying to threaten coming after the rooks again. So that's not a problem. You move your rook down here, be aggressive about it and say check. The king cannot come over here, so the king will have to move down over here, possibly thinking about check, um, getting to the rook over here. So you oblige. You say, you, you move your rook over here, it's now threatening the king, check. The king will probably say, okay, that's fine. Your rook cannot now come over here because then I'm going to capture it. So I'm gonna make this a little bit harder, which is fine, you know, and the king, as, the, as well the king should. So what you do now, instead of panicking or anything like that, what you do is you take your rook, bring it all the way over here. And, and the king now has no way of getting anywhere close to, to this side of the board before you checkmate. So even if the king goes here, checkmate. If the king goes here, same thing, checkmate. So that is how to, that is how to checkmate with the two rooks. In the next, next video, I'll show how to checkmate with two bishops. So study hard, I'll see you in the next video.